Hey everyone, Fishy Wizard 5 here, and it's that time again for another unscripted, unedited discussion of the new Treasure Hunter double XP drama, controversy, whatever you want to call it. And I'm not even going to try to drama bait you guys, and I'm going to tell you guys straight off the bat, I don't think that this... Uh, controversy is even really that big of a deal. In fact, I think it is even maybe a good thing for this game. And uh, I'll explain. So first, let me show you guys what it even is. So for this double XP, Jagex added a basically like extra bonus that you can get every certain amount of keys every single day so for today if you spend 40 keys you can get this protean processor now for those of you who don't know the protean processor basically just processes 2000 proteans i think of any kind and just gives you all the xp instantly that sounds you know, ridiculously OP, right? But it's not actually giving you any more XP. It's just making it faster to use your proteans. So if you want to have a lot of XP to use, you still need to, you know, spend the money or whatever to get the proteans in the first place. So it's just a time uh, saver, I guess to say. But yeah, let me get back to my uh, point. But let me first get the actual protean processor so I can actually show you guys what the what it, what it does myself uh, I'm just gonna claim everything because I don't want to think about what I'm grabbing it's probably a whole bunch of booty but let me just get the 40 keys in but yeah so back to my perspective I think that this game would honestly be in a better place if Jagex gave every player the option, a new player, gave every new player the option to just get your account to level 80 all stats. Because, let's be real, the, the generation of gamers that grew up playing you know league of legends and then the, the generation after that that grew up playing fortnite and now the generation who's growing up playing uh, what what are people playing now pal world or something they're they're not gonna look at this game runescape 3 and they see this window here that has like 28 oh i don't even know how many like uh, it's like 30 28 however many skills here you need, to, you need to get all of them, you know, very, very high level to even start playing the game, which is like, you know, hundreds to thousands of hours of investment to just play the game, really. Oh, did I get it? Okay. Um, how do I claim this? Claim? Do I have it? How do I... Can I, get, can I take it? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so... They're not going to want to invest thousands of hours especially for a paid subscription game when you can play fortnite for free you you need a way to get new players into the game without you know without just so much time investment and updates like this where yes you have to spend money to get this thing that will very, very, very slightly, you know, make the whole leveling thing faster. Is ultimately a step in the right direction of basically skipping all the skilling. Now, yes, I understand for all those people who still think that, oh, this game should have skilling integrity. We, you, you still have to skill to get your levels. And I'm sorry to say, if, if you want skilling integrity, this is not the game. You know, r ever since microtransactions in 2012, integrity has gone out the window for skilling. Uh, and 
every single you know since since what 2020 every three months there's been a double xp are, are are we really here thinking that you know oh the the people nowadays they still need to grind like thousands of hours to get max like i did no just let let the let people get their max cape so they can actually play the game you know do pvm do uh pvp check w you know whatever they want to do in the end game you know get all their fashion scape you know bank stand chill with people so that's what i think about this protein processor but let me uh oh shoot uh I'll, let me just edit this part out okay sorry about that but yeah, let me uh, test out this Protean processor here. So it only uses 2,000 Proteans. Okay, I say only, but that is probably a lot for a lot of people. So I'm just going to use it on smithing. I have a lot of bonus XP, so this number is going to be slightly exaggerated. Well, let's just see how much XP I get from this. Oh, and I, maybe I didn't mention that it's not that I think everybody should be able to just get a level 80 account for free. I think they should still pay like, you know, $40 for it or something because it's, it's, it's a service that Jagex is giving you. You're, you're not just starting the game at level 80 because imagine, imagine the number of freaking alts just... <laughs> coming into the game just level 80 all stats just you know destroying the economy i don't even know do i even need to be here I, actually why did i even come here i just use this right how do i use this open okay so i put all activate let me just make sure my double xp is on uh is there other skilling boosts i can use like wisdom or something wisdom Pulse core. Let me get a pulse core as well. Let's see how much XP we can get from this XP drop. Open. Deposit. Activate. So this, this is going to give me a thousand base XP. So it should be a lot more than that. Uh-huh. Uh, let's look at this cool animation. Uh, I, I, I'm in the bank chest. Nice, Jagex. Oh yeah, I, well, I didn't even really see it. It was like 3.2 mil or something. It's pretty good. So yeah, I think that this, well, you know, the promo is fine. Again, you still need to actually get the proteins. It's just a time saver. And I'm all about saving time in this day and age. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and give a like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. And have a good day, everyone.